Hello everyone, it's Madame Eileen. Are you ready to have some balloon fun with me? Oh good. Today we're doing what I call the scrappy gun. Just using balloon scraps, you make something really fun like this. I'll show you how to come up with something of your own. I'm going to set this aside. All right. You want a medium-sized balloon that you can poodle puff the tail of. I'm going to use this yellow balloon. Here's my bag of scraps. There goes that bag of scraps. This is trash. Sometimes your scraps will get old. I got a little trash receptacle behind there. Okay, let's see. What else? We could use green. Let's go for green. All right. I inflate it and I leave at least three fingers tail at the end. Tie this in a knot long enough you can grab and pull it into some twists. Now we're going to poodle puff the tail by pinching and wiggling. Isolate a two to three finger bubble, squeeze it all at once, and up it goes. Didn't quite make it all the way, so I'm going to pinch it here and push it in. Now what I'm trying to do is squeeze it till before I feel it want to pop. Latex balloons like to keep their shape, so if you make a shape, they want to go back to that shape. So I'm feeling it to hold that form. Now we need to do the shiny part. I have a piece of shiny chrome balloon here. I'm hoping that it's enough to do the job. Oops. I just need enough room to put four twists in this. I do two pinch twists. If doing the first pinch twist is a bear for you and you just can't do it, what you can do is you can just go to the second, make two bubbles, pinch twist that second bubble, and then go back and then you can take the tail and wrap the tail around, thus pinch twisting the first bubble. Now I'm going to give a pull. Balloons will actually get longer if you give it a pull. You see, I'm just pinching, holding, and stretching. This is the front of the gun. Now I'm going to pull this two in between those two. I go down a handful, and now I want to do two pinch twists here. <laughs> it's getting tight. Wow, do you see how big that inflated from there? It popped. But look, if you do a good pinch twist, it won't pop on you. Let's see. Look, I have another silver scrap. Balloons, if they're kept at the right climate and temperature and away from humidity, they can actually last a long time. But usually the rule of thumb is four years. But just like dry stuff, you can dry a piece of meat, but the meat's only good for so long. All right. So I attached this back to those two pinch twists, went down about a handful, because this is made for, for hand holding. Do two pinch twists, and then whatever is left of the balloon, I just let it hang below. But usually by then it's really short. This one, we're gonna just leave it long. Now this next one doesn't have to be too long. It's fun to get different colors combined. Let's see. No, nope, not long enough. Yeah. Oh, there's a nice yellow. Okay, we use this yellow. I basically want it to go from 
here to here and then put two pinch twists in it. So I just want to put just enough air to do that but not have too much left over. I want to have little sights and scopes on this. So hold the knot, push the knot into the valley between these two pinch twists. Pull up and around before you let go of the knot and then just wrap the tail. And that's all secured. Want this at an angle. Two pinch twists. Now we need a really long scrap. I'm just doing two 60s. I'm not really grabbing others. Let's see. I do have more bags of scraps underneath here. Oh, I used green. We could do pink. Let's see what I have on my pinks. That's a rose. Not quite long enough. It's split up the side. Every so often I organize my scraps by color, so if I need a green scrap, I go straight for the greens. Oh, this is fun. Once in a while, you get twinsies. Two balloons that have been fused together, and these are not 260s. They are two 160s. No, I want 260s. I'm looking for a particular size. I'm too short. I do use up balloons in here, so looks like I might have used up all of the long, not long enough. Okay. Let's go for a different color in here. I'm pulling out. Ooh. Here's my bag of tw 260 twinsies. Goldenrod. That's pr oh blue. Is that blue? Or is that black? I think this is navy blue. Ooh, it's what do you call this? Jewel tone. A lot of balloon artists don't like jewel tone because it's see-through. You're always scared it's gonna break. scares me. Okay, this is Jewel Tone. Jewel Tone is see-through. It can be really pretty, but also can be tricky to work with. I'm going to definitely let some air out. Make that soft. Okay. This is going to be the center and the end of my gun. So I'm going to pinch the knot, push it into the valley of the pinch twist, and then pull it around. Once, twice, and now it's like this. I want it a little soft to fit inside the gun, so I'm going to pinch it. I'm going to pinch it smaller and tuck it in. Go up to these two pinch twists. I'm holding it upside down now. I go to where the pinch twists are. You can see that it's, you can see it through the jewel tone. You pinch it right there where the two valley of the two pinch twists are and then we push the twist into the two pinch twists and then we roll the balloon around connecting it there now we bend it back this way we want it to tuck into the space so if we just twist and put it in it's going to push it up too far so we're going to Squeeze, make it soft. A soft balloon, if you fold it softer and collapse it and then twist it in, a soft balloon actually tucks in and fo forms more where you want it to be. Because I made it soft and small before I started my twist, it fits nice and snug in there. The other side, 
where I didn't get it soft enough, you can see that, here it is, it doesn't fit into this case nice and neat. Kind of bulges out. But that's a, a good example of, if you get your balloon soft, how it can just tuck in and go into a corner shape without distorting the majority of the design. Now the rest of this, let's give a squeeze to make sure this is nice and soft. This is going to be the handle. So we squeeze it, make the length, want a long handle, give it another squeeze. You can have a long handle, short handle. I'm going to cut this here. reposition my pinch twist so they're in the front of my gun. This is um, not as tight as I wanted it, so I'm going to put my hand in the loop and I'm going to twist the loop and tight that tightens it. I decide where I want the split in my handle to be. And that is my basic gun. If this is too long for you, you can just twist off a bubble and tie it off if it's too long. It's wonderful when you get a scrap that when you do this, ends in the perfect little ball. That's how my first one went. Here's my first gun. You can see that the very last end of the scrap ended up just perfect. So, have a blast, kids! Remember, don't hit anyone in the eye. It's a balloon, but balloons bopped in the eye will still hurt. So, happy twisting, have fun! Bye, everybody!